Hello everyone and welcome back to the Disney Legacy Challenge and we are still with the lovely Maleficent or, well, is she lovely? I'm not really quite sure. <laughs> but we are back with her anyway and she is talking to her dragons. Now you all said that you did want me to get another dragon so that is what we went ahead and done. So we have this dragon here and this dragon egg here. Now this one we're talking to about the weather and this one we are talking to we are plotting against our enemies because I'm hoping that this one's going to be the black dragon like I said to you before guys I haven't played with the dragons so honestly I don't have a freaking clue like what's going to pop out here now I also asked you to name the dragons and you came up with quite a few awesome names Someone did suggest actually naming them after the Game of Thrones dragons altogether, so it would be, you know, completely appropriate. She'd be the mother of dragons, if you like. So that's what we're going to do, because I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and I think it would be quite groovy. Quite groovy? Hello, 70s. <laughs> I think it would be quite, uh, quite awesome if we did have the three dragons to be, you know, that sort of age, if you like. Alrighty, so these are going to hatch in what, three and a half hours and we're going to see what we have. Now the red dragon, I want to see the different colours and then we can kind of take it from there. Um, now for romance wise, you guys pointed out that this was Harry's brother and I completely missed that. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, Marcos doesn't seem to have aged. I mean, Harry's dead. But I suppose he was an adult. I don't know. It's tough. But anyway, he is uh, he's a city council member. But like I say, I don't really want Maleficent to put all her eggs in one basket. Um, <laughs> I really didn't mean that. <laughs> all her eggs in one basket. I didn't actually mean that because that's a terrible joke if I did mean it. But uh, we don't want her to pin all her hopes on one guy. So we kind of want to you know, have her. Because a lot of you, uh, not a lot, but a couple have said, like, oh, don't give her a boyfriend. Well, it's not really a boyfriend. We're kind of, although it is a boyfriend, we're kind of looking for her love match because she did have one in the movie. Everyone, all of you guys have told me she does. So it's only appropriate. And she deserves love too. Um, so I'm just kind of getting this here. So two hours and one minute. So I don't think she knows any other men. She has a lot of enemies in town. She's got this dude here, Nawaf, who, by all looks of things, hates her. <laughs> but I would quite like to see where he stays because it'd be quite good to, you know, get an actual look at him. I mean, he's Nawaf Row. So can we see his house anywhere? That's Pots. Why are you guys there? Like, they've moved. So Chip... That's interesting, look. Chip, Mrs. Potts and uh, Cogsworth have moved here. Why have you guys moved? That is rather interesting to me. Hmm. Why have you moved? Nice house though. I mean, if suppose if you're going to move, then moving to this nice house is a, is a good idea. Really cute house, actually. I'd actually quite like to go and visit them, but I don't think they know her, so... Oh, well. Um, let's see who else has moved, then. What? Who's living up here, then? Who? Who's that? Who is... Uh, who's that that's living with them? Interesting. Well, I'll tell you guys, this is interesting what's happened, and I don't see anybody here, so... I don't know where Belle and the Beast are staying. Hmm, that is interesting. That is definitely interesting. To me, you might be like, it's not really Laura. <laughs> but it is because that's why I love story progression because they do randomly sometimes will move house. Who's in here? It's Tremaine. And then we have our, our, little, our little fairies over here. They're not in their new house yet. However, they will be in their new house on Thursday. So we won't be staying with Maleficent. For It's not about her, you know, it's not the Maleficent challenge. But we will be with her 
Uh, we will be back with the fairies and Rose, but I wanted to get Maleficent sort of set up. So what's happening with the dragon? What's happening? So we've got the red dragon. What's this going to be? I think... Oh, what are you? The black dragon. Okay, good, because Daenerys had a black dragon. Good stuff. What about you? Oh, here we go. Here we go. What have we got here? A green dragon. Awesome. So... Um, Ven Veneris. <laughs> Daenerys had a white, a green and a black dragon, I'm pretty sure. Um, from Certainly from what I looked up in Wikipedia to get the kind of things. So the odd one out is the red dragon. However, that's fine. We'll just give him the name of the uh, white one. So we're going to name him. So just going to name him. So the white dragon was called... Oops. Sorry if I've deafened you there. Oops. <laughs> it's because my keyboard is at an awkward place. So, Vizarian, I think, is how you pronounce that. And that was named after Daenerys' brother, who was a douche bag. And then we want to name the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon was called Drogon, after Daenerys' uh Daenerys' husband who died. So he's Drogon. And then the green one is called Rhaegal. Or Rhaegal or something like that. Harvest plants. Oh, look at this, guys. Interesting. We'll need to play about with this. Because I've never... Have you guys played... Tell me down below if you've played with the dragons much. I'd be interested to know if it's something that's just me that's not done it or whatever. Because I want to see what options are. So the red one, you can pretty much burn everybody. That's, that's that's pretty much what you can do. You can cast a fire, torment, shoot fireballs, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's have a look at uh, Rhaegal. So let's, let's pick him up. What does she do with the red dragon whenever... Does she put him away or what? She does. Okay. It'd be quite cool if she could just let them fly around, you know? Right, pick him up. I hate that dress, Maleficent. We need to give her a better look than that, I think. Right, so what can he do? He can harvest plants, summon treasure, and talk to him about gardening. So he seems like a wee darling. Let's see what happens when you do summon treasure. Going to get his money. What are you doing? Oh, I'm excited. What are you getting us? What did you get? What did you get? Whoa! Holy moly, what's that? What is that? Collect that. Who's the daddy? <laughs> that sounded like she said, who's the daddy? <laughs> right, pick it up. I want to know what this is. Looks, looks possibly like a rainbow gem. Oh, what happened? Yeah, rainbow gem, look. I know my stuff. Where's the black dragon? What the hell's it doing? Oh my god, don't tell me he's dead! Oh no, is it sleeping? <gasps> Thank god for that. I thought it was actually dead there. That that was upsetting. So, the green track is pretty awesome. It can harvest and it can get you stuff. Okay. Loving that dragon. Right, let's pick this one up. Carry this one. Okay, so what can you do, Drogon? Now, in the... TV show, what I've seen so far. I haven't read the books, disclaimer. Um, but in the TV show, he's the kind of leader of the three and he's like the most wild. So he can summon death flowers, summon ghosts, uh, talk to him about logic. So I don't know if that maybe, um, you know, increases their skills. Cast Phantasmal Curse on. Okay. So kind of loving it I'm not even gonna lie i'm kind of enjoying the things that these dragons can do and i'm kind of thinking in my other lps like what could i actually you know could i use these dragons in 100 baby challenge <laughs> probably not okay so look she is she's gaining skills by talking to him about athletic and quite fast actually so i'm impressed I'm impressed. I really am. Okay, so what else I wanted to do was give Maleficent a bit of a makeover. Because someone said to me, Laura, 
she doesn't wear the horns the whole film. She's she's not she's not horny the whole film. <laughs> she's not horny. <laughs> she's no, not got horns she's the not. whole film. So what I thought I would do is I would um for her everyday wear I would still make her quite dramatic but take the horns off and then just keep the horns on for like her you know her formal wear so when she gets dressed up no <laughs> I don't know what to do I think I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I kind of because I want to send her out to the club and stuff and I just don't think she'd look She'd look kind of weird rocking up to the club with that on, unless it was some kind of S and M club. <laughs> so you know, some kind of clubs. I suppose that would be, you know, that would be a reasonable uh, hairstyle. But I don't know if it would be. So we're going to unlock this and let's give her quite a nice formal wear, so that if she does go in the club, she can, you know, in the club, she can actually not scare people you know you don't want people cowering in a corner she's never going to find a man if they're cowering in the corner for her are they so we want to give her something still super kind of dark and glamorous so i'm going to go for this look at you maleficent are you not just a hot bit of stuff she's like yes i am thank you for noticing so we'll make it all black because that suits her perfectly and we will give her I don't know what shoes she's got on but something tells me that it's not really that glamorous so let's go ahead and get her get her some sexy heels going get her some of them get her some strappy sandals and then why don't we put a like a choker on or or something quite hmm. okay so that's kind of glitched my god uh, what about that so I don't know if it's because of the headdress that that's kind of looking glitched or not I don't really know now that's an s and club <laughs> Um, so anyway, Laura, moving swiftly on. So, will we give her anything? Oh, that's quite nice with the kind of red. Right, let's change her hair, guys. So, let's let's give her quite a dramatic. We want to still stay with the dramatic because we don't want to move away from her too much, but we still want to give her something that's publicly acceptable. But we could give her, we could give her that. We could give her that. What do you think? Do you think that that's that's quite groovy, or we could actually just that's kind of one of my favourite ones. But you know, if, smile, Maleficent. Let us see that pretty smile. We can't judge it right if you look like you're about to beat somebody up. You know, you want to try and tempt a man, not make him run in the other direction. You see that face, and you'd be like, "Holy moly, she is angry. I am out of here." <laughs> I'm out of here. Right, is there any good store hairstyles? Or is that just a joke? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she would have um, dark hair. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know, this is when it's difficult. Because you're like, okay, so what would she have then? What is under that pointy cap? like what's under my hat <laughs> she could just be really keen at she could have short hair tucked up under that cap well she could do that would be that would actually make sense that she would have a haircut like that or we could give her like soup no i'm gonna go with that one because i just think that if she's tucking it up in that horns then she's gonna have you know a fairly funky do hairstyle well i think that you look amazing maleficent and that's what i'm gonna go with my mother of dragons that is your club outfit and you are going to be able to go and pull all the men i mean the easy way to do it would actually just to be to dye um drogo's hair you know drogo what am i talking about uh harry's brother 
it'd be really easy just to do that. I know that there's no way he's going to come over because he absolutely hates us, but we'll try. I'm at work right now and I don't know when I'll be done. Hmm, that's kind of a diss. So where could he work then? Because if he's at work and he doesn't know when he'll be done, then where could he actually be? He could work at the fire station, because that's normally what they'll say at the fire station. Do we even have a fire station here? I haven't noticed one, but I'm assuming that we do. Do you want to go and visit them? Who the hell's that? There's people living with them that I have not a clue. Oh, stop. Oh, is that, is that, oh my god, is that, um, Babette? Oh, so cute. Love it. Um, I want to go to the fire station and see if he maybe works there. But then I'm thinking, do we even have a fire station or am I just, just tripping out my head here? Surely we've got a fire station. Surely. Surely we have. Hmm. Doesn't look like we have, to be honest. Right, let's go to Cranky Hank's comics. Let's let's go. And she also wants to buy a motorcycle because she is a badass. So do you want? Do you know what? I'm going to get you a motorcycle. I am going to get you a motorcycle, sweetheart. You're going to get a motorcycle. If we can find a space on this lot to put it, you will get a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't think there is space. No. What about a wee short one? Don't normally like wee short ones, but we'll go for that one. Do you know, I I have got such a dirty mind because I totally made something dirty out of that. I don't like wee short ones. <laughs> and if you know what I mean, then you're just as bad as me. Okay, so let's go for... <clears throat> We're going to vehicles, vehicles, and we want a motorbike. So, no, not a bicycle or a, a motorbike. Where are the motorbikes? What? Surely I've got a motorbike, or she wouldn't have a wish to have a, a motorbike. Ah, I see, I knew I did. So you want the beast, Maleficent. Let's let's get you the beast, darling. Let us get you the beast and let you go. Uh, tune exhaust for 500 simoleons. What? No. Let's go to a community lot on the beast. Let's go. Let's do this. I want you to go to Cranky Hank's comics and I want to see you. I want to see you on your, your motorbike. Where the hell is it? I want to go to the comic store because normally that's where men hang out. Yes it is. You normally get a whole bunch of men getting populated there. I don't know if you can kind of fly there but you better go on that motorcycle since I just bought you that. Yes. Good stuff. Oh look at her. That I need a picture. I need a picture. That's awesome. <laughs> She's so badass. She's so badass. Look at that face. She's like, I'm bad, I know it, I'm bad. Oh, what a picture. What a picture is that? Yes. Yes. Love it. That, that is a... <laughs> I just, I love her face as well. It's like, I'm the baddest bitch in town. <laughs> I love it, Maleficent. You, you rock my socks, love. You really do. Love it. Get your motor running. Get on on the highway. Right, good. Okay, we can we can proceed. We can proceed with with the rest of the the LP. Oops. Right, let's do this. <coughs> Excuse me. She's away. Where is she? Holy moly, that's fast. Oh, I like it. I should buy my Sims motorcycles more often. I think I will actually. I think I might buy Roxy and Hundred Baby a motorcycle. <laughs> or we should get the fairies a motorcycle as well. Quite funny. Well, I would find it funny. 
always assume things will be funny, but then it's what I find funny. You guys might be like that, really. Not funny. <laughs> so not funny. Right, does our guy work here? No, it's just Vivian. Vivian, I believe that you're everywhere, because I'm sure I've seen you in the consignment shop. Who's this? Do you notice that this town, now I'm not being funny, okay, this town is full of plush people. Like, if you get junk in your trunk, then you belong here. Which is good, because I like that. I like the diversity, because sometimes the generated E sims are like, you know, completely thin and stuff all the time. But it's good to get diversity like this that you can see, you know, little curvier sims and stuff. I like it. I approve. I approve. Oh, please don't tell me another, another invisible person. How can you be doing this? How can you be arguing with people that aren't even there? Look, she, look, he's going to end up beating you up like everybody else does. <laughs> he thinks you're hot, however. Oh, Maleficent, she's going to get a blooming paste in again. So we've got some unroutable sims, which is why it's frozen on me. Shock horror. Shocker Rooney. Can you believe it? I can. Easily. Um, so ready for the Sims 4. So ready for the Sims 4. <laughs> Although I have to say, I do... I, oh, oh, stop! Dark haired boy. Where are you going? What's your name? Oh, Tyler! Tyler, Tyler Tremaine, you've aged well, you have aged well. Let's go and do a friendly introduction to Tyler. Where did he go, Tyler? Okay, I don't even know where he went. So maybe she, oh no. Duck of doom. Guys, Dark of Doom. Always goes by so fast. Well, for me. Is he still there, Maleficent? Can we find him? This is quite a pretty bit. This is by the university, isn't it? Have you stalked him? Have you found him? I'm so proud. So proud. He's in here. Good stuff. Let's let's say hello. Tyler, do you do you want oh they're acquaintances? So they've met before. Interest oh there is an interest there. What what's your career, Tyler? I don't know how uh Belle would feel about her getting together with her uncle. <laughs> she probably would be like that. That bitch stole my daughter. You are not dating my uncle. That is not going to happen. No way. No way. However, can we ask if he's... We know he's not single, but, you know. Well, we see... I don't think we can access the family tree, can we? Oh, we can access his family tree, though. So let's see if there's been any changes. Enras, Master Controller, Advanced... Just doing this. I know it's going over my time a little bit, but that's alright. Alright, so has anything happened? So he's going out with Callie. And he's got two kids. He's got Neil and he's got Chris, Kristen or Christine. Um, Cinderella, my darling. She's still here, thank lord. And Harrison has got Esther. Did, have we seen Esther? I don't know. Are you preggers again? No. Just got the three. Cute. Jessica. Jessica's got... Oh, Jammy, look. Jammy's older now. As is Jack. Okay, so we've got a teenager and a child there as well. I love it. It's great. It's great to see you, Cinderella. Thanks to her, all this has happened. It's quite crazy, actually, when you think back to your gran or your great granny and you look at all the people that are there because of her. I mean, obviously it's because of her mother and then her mother and her mother. However, when you think about it, Cinderella is the gran here. You know, the great gran, actually. She's a great grandmother. 
you know, and she's responsible for five kids that then went on to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids. So she's got ten grandkids and three great grandkids. So, you know, and I think she'll be aging up at some point, so she may have it, but Cinderella has done extremely well for us. She definitely has, and I, I love to see the family tree. And I think I'll really miss that in The Sims 4, not being able to look at the family tree and see the progress. But uh, maybe that's something that we can get a mod for. I don't know. Lillian's partner, partner, pa my God, partner is Martin. And it doesn't look like Jamie has got anything. So we, we know about her, so she must know her a little bit. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there um, because the Duck of Doom did sound but I hope you like the fact that Maleficent is now the mother of dragons and uh, let me know what you think about the whole Tyler situation whether that's something we should pursue. Bearing in mind Maleficent isn't awful in the um, actual movie so should we allow her into our family? I do not know. I want to know your opinion. So let me know down below and please leave a big like in this video because it really does. You have no idea how much it helps me in my YouTube-ness. You know, the likes, they take two seconds and they really do help, um, you know, YouTube do its thing. So if you can, I would I love you forever and I'll talk to you in the very next part. Bye, guys.